Hello, Libra. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the week of May 11th of 2020. What are they thinking? Reading. I'm going to be starting out with the Spirit uh, Animal Deck by Colette Baron Reed, and I'm going to be doing a circle spread. Later on, I will clarify with the Gypsy Oracle deck and bring in one of my many tarot decks for further clarification. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Libra I'm reading for during this general reading. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. With clearly defined messages regarding the person they're thinking about or who by which, if they're single, they may meet. What are this person's thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspectives during the week of May 11th regarding Libra? So the person you're thinking of Libra in the center of the circle spread has the wombat spirit. They are at home. They're being guided to give thanks to their home, their family, their friends day to day during this week and in the thoughts position this person has the turtle spirit being guided to understand that slowly and steadily they can win the race they can find their contentment so libra you may be dealing with someone who is quick to act maybe just needs to slow down a little bit and put a careful plan together in the relationship sector with another or others this person has the white raven spirit. So they are in the relationship sector, being guided to trust in the magic of the blessings in life. Beautiful. So in the creative aspects position for the week of May 11th of 2020, with the peacock spirit in this particular deck, spirit is guiding this person you're thinking of, Libra, to let their light shine, to give thanks to the people in their life to slow down when making ideas knowing that as they do what they enjoy they will find abundance financially emotionally and spiritually now in the actions position we have the pig spirit energy spirits advice for this person that you're thinking of libra is to use their mind wisely to take action, to give thanks to what's at home, how they're going to contribute, devote towards, uh, create continued joy and happiness, moving forward through some form of changes here. So in the emotional aspects position, the person you're thinking of has the wolf spirit. So they're being guided to obtain more wisdom, for knowledge is power. So they can take all that they've learned and direct it slowly but surely as they trust that nothing is wasted in our lives. We take what we learned and we build off that and we meet new people, we learn more and we share that knowledge with others so that they can experience the same joy. Now in the subconscious position, this person has the beaver spirit laying a solid foundation having to do with the home, trusting in the magic of relationships with another or other. Day to day, they're being guided with the ant spirit energies, saying that it is time to collaborate, to come together with family and friends, to create some form of success, slowly but steadily trust in the magic that you will obtain the wisdom you are seeking, they're telling this person. As you collaborate with another or others, you are subconsciously. So they're thinking about laying a solid foundation in some way. Maybe a summer location. A plan for the family in the future. So in the uh, inner strengths position, this person has the canary spirit. They're being guided to sing their own song, share who they are, create a solid foundation, collaborate with others, and use their mind wisely as things are going to be going a little bit more slowly. For a lot of people are creating a, a long-term chapter in their lives now that could go on into the next 20, 30 years. So we don't wanna make 
quick decisions, we want to obtain some emotional wisdom here. <clears throat> I feel like some of you already know who I'm talking about. And thank you to those of you who let me know in the comment section or via email. So for clarification in a three card spread to my right with the same spirit animal oracle, this person is being guided to know that spirit has a plan for them that will give them the ability to reclaim their power, to have something to protect, to be playful with, to feel proud of. So that's their energy in the first couple, few, three, four days of the week of May 11th of 2020. This person by mid to the end of the week is being guided to have a gentle touch, to give with grace and gratitude, to not try to rush things, to remember in the thoughts position that slow and steady wins the race, turns out the best outcome. So they're starting to see a little more clearly here. Once they start to obtain some form of emotional wisdom, trust in the magic of this beautiful foundation that they are ready to plant or create or that they're stepping into or they're getting ready to step in. <clears throat> so we've got the owl spirit. You will see clearly in the giraffe. You see the big picture because you're collaborating with others in the day-to-day -day aspects position. And the spirit saying, let your light shine. Be proud of what you're accomplishing to this person. Now, the only thing that's a little bit touchy here is in the actions position. So I think they're just making quick decisions and they need to wait and obtain more wisdom as they collaborate slowly, right? Because slow effort and time create a magical diamond in the rough. So in the outcome position, representing the weekend of around the 16th, 15th, 16th, and 17th of May of 2020, this person is now recognizing a very lucky time. They're being guide, guided to be fearless and bold. No, to know that they can overcome any obstacles and that the abundant universe is trying to help provide for them as all they have to do is be generous in spirit or to give thanks to those whom are being generous to them, which could, I just saw the lion here, be someone who has Leo in their chart during this week. Wow, so let's go ahead and look at the people, places, circumstances, and situations by which spirit is trying to provide information about regarding the one on your mind. Libra. So I'm bringing in the Gypsy Oracle deck. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless this Libra with clearly defined messages regarding whoever is on their mind or who by which they may meet during the week of May 11th of 2020. Yeah, so for some reason, this person, Libra, is feeling like there's a misfortunate change of event situation at home so you know build them up support them especially at the beginning of the week libra now in their thoughts position they're kind of thinking a lot about what happened and that's why spirit's saying just slow down everything through prayer especially and then time and physical effort cause and effect they can trust in the magic of relationships. So the person you're thinking of has a friend here in the relationship sector, trusting in the magic of connections regarding family or friends. We have two sixes here. So someone who's in a good path and mentions uh, an opportunity to you and both of you are working together, friend or family, in your relationship sector during the week of May 11th of 2020. So this is them connecting with friends, family, and trusting in the magic of the relationships they have and what is transpiring this week. Yeah, so they can create a way to let their light shine, get together and manifest joyfulness in connection with another or other. So they're trying to create this during this week. They're being guided to plan it. Plan slowly. 
and in the actions position. They're being guided to think about their spending, to use their mind wisely when it comes to fortune and or money, investments. For emotionally, they need to obtain more wisdom, make sure they've got the best deal, they've checked something out. Also, give thanks to the joyfulness of your foundation is what Spirit's telling the person you're thinking about. For emotionally, I think by the weekend, there's going to feel like there's a lot of love around this person, and that's the wisdom that Spirit's trying to say, you know what, it's worth it. These family, these friends, this person is the wisdom of love that Spirit's trying to help me to trust in. So subconsciously, we have the beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. This person's thinking about profits and incomes and how to make sure that they are content and okay in the area of home, family, and business. So day to day, they're being guided to collaborate with you, male or female, so that you can get clear about decisions regarding home, so that you can eventually let your light shine and chill out and enjoy joyfulness and give thanks to some form of fortunate offer or opportunity. Give thanks to the one you're sharing your life with or, yes. Okay, so in the inner strengths position, we have the canary spirit, sing your own song. So this person's being guided to just be who they are. Having the strength to not to bring something to an end because of misfortune, but to instead trust that you can work together with another this week and create greater fortune. You may be blessed with someone who sees clearly how much to spend is what the Spirit's saying to this person. That may be you, Libra. Are you helping them to avoid misfortune by guiding them to obtain more wisdom? Make sure, again, that you're really giving this person love and support during this week. I think they're really worried about maintaining a solid foundation in some way. And I have home and profits, collaboration, and I feel like that's with you, Libra. So... For further clarification, again, in a three-card spread to my left, we've got the beginning of the week being represented by planning a good time with the pleasure seeker energy, providing service and effort. Hoping for commitment partnerships, contracts with others so that you can journey into connection with others and not sit here in that space alone. Yeah, you just need, this person needs to get their mind off of what is, and I'm sure was a serious change, but it's their perspective that will get things turned around and you could be of great assistance uh, in that process. Libra during this week, you see they're overthinking a situation and you're like the priest here. I know right from wrong, good from bad, the best way to bring them out of thinking too deeply. So I'm going to put my effort with the service energy into conversation with this person. Yeah, because sometimes maybe this person thinks, well, I brought all this upon myself and now I'm trying to run away from it because I was shining brightly and now this wife, this partner, this person is waiting to see if I can still be successful. So there's like sorrow and worry in a passionate connection, but Spirit's saying, that don't think negatively. If you're in a partnership, work this through together because that's what life is going to be about one thing after another all the way up through your 80s and 90s so get used to the process right that's definitely for a committed partnership so Libra this person is going through a very spiritual transformation I feel like throughout the entire week they're recognizing that um, old ideas circumstances situations are dying away yeah, and they're trying to heal. And maybe they're thinking that they need you to not be stubborn, but to actually support them because they're sitting in energies of despair and they don't know, maybe they know you want to go into deeper commitment and spend money on a wedding or something. So they are thinking about love. They are very emotionally in tune and in love with you, Libra. They're just trying to obtain some wisdom here um, and, and knowledge about their own financial concerns is what I'm hearing. And it's just a blip. I mean, 
they can sit in energies of despair or they can bring new ideas to light. But I feel like some have already started obtaining wisdom about that. And by the weekend, you're finally like, oh, fortune, love, awesome, solid foundation. I trusted in the magic. I had positive thoughts and I brought an ending to um, old situations that were a little unfortunate. That's all, right? All right, so let's bring in the Rider Waite deck. And we'll look at the elements and or astrological signs by which this Libra, this Libra's person may be connected to or dealing with. Yeah, okay. So they're feeling a little bit trapped or stuck in a situation like we talked about because of some form of misfortune regarding home. But they're being guided to give thanks to all that they've created um, for spirit will always give back to that positive energy and prayer. And in the thoughts position during this week, uh, Libra, this person is, again, sighing in awe of what happened, but they are, yeah, maybe regarding a business owner or leader with the emperor energies, but they've got it in them. Let them know they've got it in them to lead to start their own business. They've obtained a lot of wisdom and they could run their own crew, right? So uh slowly but steadily help them get through this blip support them is a big message for you guys libra during the week of may 11th of 2020 now in this person's relationship sector to another or others they see a friend they trust in the magic of family and friends yes and and they're going to be receiving a lot of positive recognition and attention maybe from some form of fire signs sagittarius or leo family members friends and they're starting to shine um they're creating joyfulness through their efforts and this process will help for them to let go of what transpired something has and people have moved on into a better path and thank you for that and god bless you and i hope you guys are very successful uh, even more successful than before and in more in tune with where you're at. Uh, we've got the person that Libra is thinking about uh, creating, letting their light shine, celebrating joyfulness, manifesting, planning, financial independence, stability in connection with another. Uh, they're thankful that you are independent and in the actions position they've got the seven of wands so libra the person you're thinking of is trying to decide if they want to continue to fight one battle or if they should turn around and move towards some other fortune greater abundance and stability but um they're fearful of taking some form of action or the fact that they had to take action but this is a good thing tell them emotionally this week they're going to recognize the wisdom they have obtained and now they can take that knowledge and free themselves from old illusions and fears because whatever they questioned before is done and now they're not in question of that and that's because of judgment in the emotional aspects position this is when spirit steps in and helps you to free yourself from old illusions worries fears and to be reborn emotionally in the area of love knowledge wisdom the emperor getting clear organized logical discipline connecting and maintaining financial independence receiving acknowledgement and now going away from where you were stuck or trapped before so in the uh, subconscious position this person is going to start to think about if they haven't already the prophets, their foundation, the blessings in their life, and they're thinking about maybe offering the cup of love. A brand new path overflowing with peace, joy, contentment, happiness, and love because they trusted in the magic of life. And their partner is like a friend. And they're independent and they're stable. And they're supportive, right, Libra? So day to day, this person um, is being guided to collaborate and connect with others. They're thinking of you as their sweetheart. Uh, they may be a little bit worried about where things are going, but they're being guided to use their imagination and connection with you because maybe both of you guys could create uh, your own businesses and do very well. Um, this is also about just creating family time. And this person finally, by the weekend, finding a moment to just 
love. Yeah, because there was an ending here and Spirit's giving them the strength to get beyond this death energy because it was a, a, a moment of transformation. This person has learned nothing more from the previous journey that they needed. And now, as they let their light shine day to day, they can have the strength to push beyond worries regarding money, sadness, or depression. Because now they're getting clear about where they're headed. And there's no longer a question. So they may be looking at you, Libra, and wanting to offer some form of deeper commitment or partnership. Wow. Now, if you're alone, you may meet someone through a friend or who is a friend in the past or something, and that could happen. Hmm. If it hasn't happened already, I want to say by Wednesday or Thursday. So let me know. Let's go backwards. Now I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to kind of uh, reiterate this person's energies for you. And then um, we're going to pull a card for Libra representing the week. So this person has been feeling sad and depressed, is uh, confused, worried maybe day to day, uh, is hoping uh, that there can be a new path in love, a better path. They're starting to feel like the emperor, more secure and stable because they know that they are in control of what they create for themselves, which is freeing them from feeling trapped or stuck. Uh, spirit is helping them emotionally to free themselves from those worries and is uh, guiding them to friends and family, to trust in the magic, to be who they are, because a lot of attention and recognition will come where they feel stable again, where they love their partnership because you're stable and secure Libra. Um, yeah, they're, they're fighting old battles that need to be let go of, but that'll dissipate. See, we have the death here. It's happening because it was meant to happen at this time in their journey. And now they're looking at you as their sweetheart, and they're hoping that you guys can plan some form of abundance or prosperity together. And they're uh, recognizing that they can push beyond that misfortune and trust in the blessings of all that has transpired for them. So there's despair regarding an ending. But spiritual advice is saying, sing your own song. Let your light shine to this person. It's time to collaborate and connect with others on a day-to-day -day basis. For subconsciously, you know you want to lay that foundation of peace and success and contentment and know that you don't have to worry that slowly and steadily things will transpire, especially in the area of home, family, or business. This person is being guided to take some wisdom, turn it into knowledge, and trust in the magic of prayer when it comes to success in connection with another because it was two sixes. So two could be successful together, two could be working together, something like that. And so your light is going to shine if you just use your mind wisely. And, and this is what they're saying to the person you're thinking about, Libra look at the fact that the one journey ended because spiritually it was supposed to there wasn't more to learn about themselves and now they're advancing and just need to give thanks to the blessings that they've had in their lives okay and if you're coupled that means you so you know lift them up and then they'll be able to free themselves from whatever ended and um open their heart up even deeper with you so i'm closing with a message from the wisdom of the, no, I'm not on deck. Be at home was on the bottom of the deck. Be at home in your home and your life, you've been blessed, you know, and maybe say that to them. If you're with a person, you know, tell your partner, look at our beautiful home, our beautiful family. Closing message for Libra, please. This is the wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron Reed. So, Libras, you got number five. Five is a moment of pause and reflection. It is a time to do something day to day that you really enjoy and to just kind of with the spiral dancer energy, let spirit guide you with that by watching for signs and synchronicities, positive feedback and support for during this week, whatever you are trying to illuminate, there is going to come some form of enlightenment um, and you're going to be able to celebrate uh, some form of idea um, success that maybe you set for yourself 
So there's definitely a message here that as you create things day to day for yourself, set little goals and intentions that you're going to accomplish, pray to spirit and know that you will um, become enlightened through some form of celebration or positive feedback. So it's definitely a week of uh, with the altar priest or priestess energies to prepare day to day, have a sacred ritual of what you're working towards, what you want to accomplish. Where the dream walker energies are here this is about learning from the past and building upon that i feel like this if you're coupled is for the both of you recognizing your dreams and coming up with collective goals together because uh gaia's garden may show up maybe by the weekend where you start to recognize the fruition and abundance from the hard work and effort you put in or you put in together if you're coupled we have reaping what you sow. I learned, I surpassed, and now I'm succeeding. Now I can let go and go with the flow without worrying. About this person, I feel like you guys have been worrying a little bit about this person because of the major change, but it's all good. It's just time to give thanks and recognize the blessings and know that eventually a new beginning will happen where people can come together and celebrate the change. And for some of you, this change is going to come quickly. You're going to go from, oh my gosh, misfortune into, oh my gosh, success. Uh, you or this person or both of you, if you're coupled. So should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions and or would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Easter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so very, very much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Take care and God bless.